Thanks for joining me. I'm Will Nicholson, I'm a cardiologist in Leicester, and I'm going to cover pericardiocentesis in detail. This is one of the most tricky, potentially high pressure, challenging procedures a cardiologist can have to perform. I'm going to cover pericardiocentesis, the procedural aspects in detail, based on everything that I've learned, both from doing and teaching pericardiocentesis. I hope you find this helpful. Please be sure to put on comments and feedback so that I can improve this series of videos in the future. Thanks a lot. I split this video up into eight small videos and that hopefully will allow you to find what you're after quickly. If you're new to pericardiocentesis, I would encourage you to watch all of these. I'm going to cover complications, how to prepare well for the procedure, good preparation will make the rest of the procedure go much more smoothly. I'll talk about the anatomy you need to understand and then I'll go over the technique of the pericardiocentesis and how to control the needle, how that differences by the different approaches. Um, most importantly, how do you confirm needle location? It's easy to put a needle in, the hard part is putting in where it needs to go into the pericardium and then knowing that you're in the right spot. So you should always be rehearsing for the difficult case and have lots of different ways of confirming your needle is in the right spot. I'm also going to cover difficult situations. Pericardiocentesis can be really tough. Um, so how do we approach difficult situations? How do we predict them before they happen? And I'll also cover post-procedure care and do a summary at the end.